don't know, it was like the loneliest time of my life. And it was kind of weird, like when I did finally get arrested, I just remember it was like the deepest sigh of relief just because it was over. I always kind of did what I was supposed to. I was a mom, I went to school, I worked, and then one day I just started using and it just like, everything went down the tube very fast. I didn't end up going to prison and doing treatment. Everyone thinks it's kind of like once a felon, always a felon, and that, you know, we're gonna reoffend. But really, I think that we deserve a second chance and that just because we, did, we messed up once doesn't mean that that's just who we are, you know, and that we can grow and learn. Well, my name is Megan, and um, I recently got out of Coffee Creek about nine months ago. Um, I have three kids that I'm currently working towards um, getting back and living with after I kind of get back on my feet. The life classes came out of our experience and our expertise in teaching uh, self-employment skills and small business development. Having the option to look at self-employment or to start a part-time supplementary income job, we thought is a very practical and viable uh, benefit to the women. With a felony record, you know, we need more resources to like start our own businesses and just find like a career that we love. And I think that they really help doing that. I think it helps the women to change their perception of who they are and how they can operate in the world. Um, we see our women move from being passive and victims to taking an active role in planning their future um, and strategizing on how they want to get where they're going. And that sense of empowerment, um, we think is really the key to being successful in the future. The RTC, or the Reentry Transition Center, um, came out of our experience with uh, our students in the life class at Coffee Creek. What we saw is as our women were re released, we just were not aware of the barriers that they ran into. The idea of the RTC was to have a couple people that both understood that experience um, and had actually been through that experience, um, help them to identify with each individual what those challenges that they're facing um, in order to come back into the community successfully and then help them find the resources uh, to overcome those hurdles. My name is Alberta McCoy and I'm the um, navigator here at the Reentry Transition Center. Well, I think, and I could probably be pretty biased, I think the Reentry Transition Center is wonderful because it really offers people an opportunity to really take a look at changing their lives. People come in here and they're pretty hopeless or they think less of themselves. And we talk to them and we encourage them and we also sometimes share that we have been formerly incarcerated ourselves and that if we can do it, you can do it. Mercy Corps Northwest, along with some other key organizations, um, started to meet regularly, and that developed into um, the Roar Alliance. It stands for Reentry Organizations and Resources, and it is a, an alliance, an association of about 50 reentry organizations and um, agencies in the, in the metropolitan area. We are organizations that are doing direct service to people that are coming out of reentry, so we see the, the, the problems that, they, that our participants encounter, bringing that experience that we see on the ground together and be able to distill it and then feed it up to decision makers and lawmakers and legislators um, is really key. It's, it's the key to system change. The Photo Voice Project offered the women an opportunity to uh, help educate us 
um, us who have never been through that experience to understand what it looked like through their eyes. Basically it's just capturing your transition into the community through pictures and a journal. And they are free to take pictures and write about anything that strikes them um, in those first couple of days um, that they're back in the community. It was really interesting. Um, one, it was fun to take pictures and just be able to like snap away and capture a lot of memories that I felt like I missed out on. And then to um, you know do the journal entries and then take my kids downtown to the gallery where they were put up and let them read it and my mom read it and my dad read it and it was really amazing and fun and it was really good. It was a really good bonding moment for me and my family for sure. I really don't even like to think about where I would be today if I hadn't gone through the LIFE program. Oh, I just feel like this overwhelming feeling in my chest. I'm just like extremely grateful. The best thing to do is to help these people come back and be productive citizens, to be good parents, to support their communities, um, and their hopes and dreams and aspirations are not a bit different than any one of us. Change is real, and that um, I myself was formerly incarcerated, and I changed, and I know it's possible for everybody else. This isn't wasted, that you know, we're not, we're worth, you know, investing in.